Hey there everyone, welcome back to the channel. How's it going? Sorry for the lapse in videos, just been super busy with the landscaping out there. It's a nice time of year now, so everything's growing. Uh, so this first battle here, I, I've been kind of trying this catch cup, it was a bit hard. Uh, this victory bell is the only thing that I actually had made. Apparently I didn't make anything this season. So I did make the Primate, which is ranked number three, and the Sunfisk, which probably is not very good. I didn't even check it, but it's <clears throat> quite high started, and it was cheap to make. So that's how I came about to make this team. So here you got Victory Bell going to go for a Leaf Blade against that Jigglytuff. And they use their last shield. So... At this point here, I want to throw before they get to another move, take this thing out, and then I don't bother filling all the bubbles there. They bring in their Stun Fisk again, and I'm going to go for a Leaf Blade. This will do quite a bit of damage for the ground typing. Takes a nice chunk out, a couple more magical leaves, and then... At this point, I'm like, okay, Rockslide's not going to do anything to Primate, but it's also going to do less to Stunfisk. So I bring in Stunfisk, kind of trying to force them to throw an Earthquake. And of course, they have a Shadow Kyogre in the back <clears throat> that just destroys my Stunfisk. But I am able to reach an Earthquake, and I think this will pretty much one-shot. Does quite a bit of damage to a Water-type. Boom! One-shots. And then they've got their own Stunfisk in the back again. And even if this is Rock Slide, or I mean, even if it's Earthquake, they can take me out. And then I have Primate. So here, I kind of caught. I was like, okay, I got to switch. And I did try to throw. But uh, I managed to catch the Earthquake there, which allowed me to reach an Earthquake and win the game. So a little bit by accident. Like, I was trying to time it that I would get the move first and then maybe a, one counter and take them out kind of thing but it worked out well that way that they decided to throw. So Glinglar here um, into the primate. Obviously the air attack is super effective against my primate. So I'm going to shield this up. It is the aerial ace so that's good. And now I'm going to kind of over farm quite a bit and then go for an ice punch this will do super effective against the ground and flying and it almost one shots them i do not know why they let that go maybe they didn't know the primary had ice punch throw an air release here uh as they know shielded i don't want to go down no shields to two so i figure i'll let it go and then bring in stunfisk to farm down now I've got some energy, and they have a Gudra in the back. So I want to go for Earthquake, hard-hitting move. Both moves are kind of, like, they're not super effective. I do get a shield, though, so that's ideal. And here, I'm pretty sure they've got Aqua Tail now. So definitely risky not to shield this. It is the Aqua Tail. It does a decent, decent amount of damage. They got a green in the back. So things aren't looking super good. Primate would have been really good against that. However, they let that first Earthquake go. So that gets them quite deep into the, well, not deep, but the, like half health right off the hop. Throw a Body Slam. And at this point, I feel like I can reach another Earthquake, which I do. So this will either take out the Greedent or force their last shield. It does get their last shield. And at this point here, I kind of mess up, I think, because I let them farm me down. Um, didn't didn't switch out in time. Pretty sure here they've got back-to-back -back moves. So I want to shield the first one. And then, sure enough, pretty much back-to-back, -back, I got one Magical Leaf in. Body Slam does quite a bit of damage. And I'm just not going to be able to um, outpace them, basically, like... I'm just, I don't think this is going to do enough damage. No. I'm going to need to get to a full another one and maybe a little bit more before they get to a move. 
and then I still have to get to another one to take out the green. And there they just don't quite get taken out, and that's going to be a good game to my opponent, well played. Um, let me know what your guys' thoughts are on the catch cup. I've hadn't really played it, like I said, I was trying the baby cup a little bit. Easier to make a couple Pokemon, but um, I just was not having any luck with that. And in this one, I've been noticing a lot of Annihilates, uh, a lot of Mantines. Uh, what's the other thing that I've been seeing a lot? I just, just did some battles this morning and it's like every team. Uh, there was like a handful of Polyraths. So just curious if you guys have been noticing any one, one thing more than another. Some of the stuff like this Licky Tongue is quite easy to get, right? You get them all the time. Don't really have to do a lot with them. As you can see, it's not even powered up all the way. Um, but yeah, let me know. I Like I said, I've been really struggling to get even a, a full set in every day. Um, so I just haven't really bothered to play. I've been playing a little bit here and there. And then this Catch Cup came along and I was like, oh man, I don't have anything to use for it, but I'm like, well, I don't want to sit here and not battle at all, not put out any videos. So, um, kind of like this team. It's definitely not like a structured one by any means. Like I said, I built it because I got the primate that was rank three, had the victory bell. Um, fire is definitely hard. Sunfist can kind of handle fire, but you get farmed down very easily as well. Um, Mantines are kind of tricky with it, right? Because they're super effective against the fighting and the the victor bell with the grass. But with water pulse on so many of them now, they're also really good against your Sunfisk. But all three Pokemon that I'm using can kind of handle it as well. So it's it's interesting. Anyways, uh, big rant there. Not not even a rant. Just a question. I'm curious where you guys are with the catch cups i think they're neat i find it interesting if i'm gonna if like uh great league right you have the meta you more or less know what to expect whereas with the catch cup it's like who knows who caught what when um and what they're willing to power up and why and stuff right so it's kind of interesting. I, I kind of enjoy the sheer ram randomness of it. Like this Perugly here. When do you ever see a Perugly in Great League, right? So it's kind of neat. Uh, so countering down here, I do want to throw. For one, I want to try to see if I can get a boost. For two, take them out before they get to a move or grab a shield. I don't get any of those. But I do manage to counter them down faster and they don't throw a move, so that's a positive. Uh, they're kind of waiting, wondering, okay, what should we put in? And here's a Polyrath. And this is kind of unfortunate for me as Night Slash is heavily resisted because of the fighting typing. And I think they had lag issues. Either that or they just were like, well, Primate beats my whole team. So I'm going to stop playing because you can see here the the hesitation is almost like as though they quit, right? They hard hard crit or whatever, right? How you get that hesitation and they're not throwing. But I'm pretty sure they've got a Glingar in the back. Yeah. And then right there, they threw. As I as I go for the ice punch, they threw. So I'm not sure if but then they didn't block. Right? But then they're sitting there again. And then they throw another two two or three there just before I take them out. So really not sure if they were severely having internet lag issues or if they just got pissed off and then were like, oh, well, screw this. So here is Skeldridge, one of those fire types. Um, Night Slash hits super effective, so they do have to be careful of that. Two of them, I believe, would take them out. Uh, so I do get a shield. Then they switch into Annihilate here. And quite honestly, Annihilate is also a challenge for this team. I was finding that I can weaken it with the Primate there. As you can see, a Night Slash, even though it's, I think, neutral. Um, 
and some counters, I get it pretty much half health. And then Victory Bell here can come in and the Magical Leafs do quite a bit. I do have to commit a shield there. I feel like if they've got Night Slash, they probably don't have the Ice Punch. I think they have Ice Punch. I feel like they have access to it anyways. I'll have to double check that because I all these battles, I kept thinking that they have access to Ice. I know it's Shadow Ball, Night Slash, but I thought they had a nice move as well. But pretty much all of them are running Shadow Ball and Night Slash, so maybe I'm mistaken. Just managed to live that with one move here. Go for the Sludge Bomb. And there you go again, a Frou-Frou. When do you ever see a Frou-Frou in Great League? Right? So it's kind of interesting. But here's where, like I said earlier, uh, kind of weak to fire. Because both Shadow Ball and Disarming Voice are not like super effective against Sunfisk. But Shadow Ball would do a huge amount of damage. And then the Incinerates just take you out so fast. Right, so you'll see here, the Shadow Ball is going to take me out from half health, half health, or not quite. So I do live, get to a Rock Slide here. And this should take it out, I believe, or very, very close. It does. So I do live that Incinerate that they got through, but then the Furfru can come in and just farm down. So that's about that. I just wanted to get a quick video out, share that team that I've been using, ask you guys questions, what teams you've been using how you like it, stuff like that. And I look forward to um, continuing on here. I want to get back into doing more, but I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.